now than everyone. So we're up at Black Hill again today, doing that ride that I did the other week. So if you remember, I started the ride going anti-clockwise that way, up that track and dropping down into Hetton. But every mountain bike I saw was coming this way. And then when I did the climb up sharp, I was thinking to myself, what a brilliant descent that'll be. And I just, all the way around, I was thinking maybe this ride is better the other way around. So I'm back today to do it clockwise. See what it's like. But I'm going to add another little loop on. So we're going to go down this track to uh, Bolton Abbey and then round instead of just doing that road section there to MC. So we'll go down that track there and along the road at the bottom and back up and up to MC Crag and then do this whole loop clockwise. So it's like compared to anti-clockwise. Yeah, so this is where we parked today. Lovely little spot. Right, let's go. Just through this gate here. So I'm riding with this tit today. All right, mate. All right, you kid. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks very much. That was good. Enjoyed that. A bit more. Yes. Got a few rattles on the bike. I think most of them are like that. If you hear that cable's rattling inside, I need to kind of put some in there, I think. Chop sheep. Well, yeah, since we left the van, this is a really nice section. Right, let's see what this, this is like. On the map, it just looks like it S's down the woods. Yeah, this is nice, isn't it? Brilliant. Oh, good, doesn't it? Yeah, nice. I nearly went straight on at that corner, like. Yeah, I can see a skid mark. <laughs> I don't, don't think it was yours. Hey, we're mine, yeah. Oh, it? Yeah, we're <laughs> Right, so we're nearly at Bolton Abbey and on to Tarmac. But, oh my God, yeah. Absolutely loved that. That was fantastic. What a great way to start the ride. Just down this little slope. 
come over here and just bolt an avalanche. Here. All right, so we're going to take a right on the green lane and then we'll be heading for Empty Crag, which I'm going to do again because I thought that was fantastic last time. I don't know if you can see it on camera, there's Empty Crag look. So there's a better view look of Empty Crag. So we'll come off that and then back onto road and then we head to Sharp and that brilliant single track. I've never been down it, but I did climb it, as you know, last video. And all the way up it, I was thinking, oh my God, how good would this be going back down the other way? But I actually think it's going to end up being one of those rides where I think it's quite good both ways around. Yes, I had to do all of this in uh, second gear last time. I'm going to do it again in second gear, but at least uh, I have got first gear if I need it. Yeah, so I went for gold this time with a chain in the cassette. Nearly got rainbow, but I thought I'd go for the gold. I'll show you it when we get to the next gate. It's quite a subtle gold compared to what it used to be like. It's like a mat. The old gold used to be really shiny. I thought that might look better than the rainbow, what everybody goes for. Whew. What a great climb. Thoroughly enjoyed that. Lovely climb, that, isn't it, John? You got a picture stood there. Lovely view, that, isn't it, mate? Yeah, lovely. Lovely. Stunning. Now we're heading down this track here, all the way to the edge of that reservoir. Let's go! Brilliant! Yeah, empty crag, definitely worth a visit. Definitely, so good. Right, a little off road now to Sharp and then descending. Oh, I can't wait to see what it's like. Let's hope it's as good as what I imagined it to be. Yeah, I definitely wouldn't recommend doing this in the winter months. I think it'd be uh, terrible. It's bone dry at the minute, but. 
as soon as it starts getting wet and all the cows coming up and down here it'd be uh be shit eye. Right, descent time. Got a gate to get through first. Good. Right, let's go. Hopefully it's as good as what I imagined. But unfortunately, we've got a full on headwind. <laughs> Yep, so far so good. Yeah, this is nice. Yeah, that was good. Enjoyed that. Pretty quick in places. So when I climbed this last video, I remember it being quite fun. Or looking quite fun. It's just like this, but I think we can pick up some speed if there's no walkers down here. Very, very, very nice. Enjoyed that. <laughs> well, a bit of a road section again. Round to Hetton, and then we'll join the track where we're parked at the end of. And once we climb up that last climb, it's more or less all downhill to the van. So that's going to be a nice bit to finish the ride on. But as we stand right now at the moment, I think this ride is good both ways but that last section back to the van going this way today might be the higher. higher might be the bit what just pips this ride to be better this way around so i'll give you my conclusion when we get back to the van next left and it's climb time last climb of the ride I think this will be a first gear job for me, all the way to the top, when I hit the steep bit. I'm pretty tired now, it's quite a pedally ride is this, same as it was the other way around. Right, so just hit the steep, set me time, each pedal stroke is taking me closer to the top. Before you know it, you're at the top. Oh, no dabs yet. It's not the toughest climb I've been up in this. So just through this gate though, it's the steepest bit. So we'll see how we get on with that. Now for the finale. 12% this section, but after doing all that from the road, it feels a lot steeper. So John's done all gates for me, so I've not even dabbed at the gates. 
I'm 14% now. Oh my God, look at this. I think I'll be getting off here. Oh, will he? Come on, lad. What a challenge. We're at the top, look. Where John is, is the top. Get her in. Excellent climbing. Well, all the way up there, John, without dabbing. Oh, not bad for a 47 year old, eh, John? This is nice riding, isn't it? Yeah. I like it up on moors like this. Yeah, this is nice. Especially when it is windy. Yeah, go on, you get past and enjoy it, mate. Come on. Downhill now. Downhill all flat, all the way to the van. Thank you. Yeah, so this was the section I was talking about what might just tip this ride into being better this way around. Because this is just a nice fast finish back to the van. Yeah, this is nice. Enjoying this. It's a bit loose. That was fantastic. Absolutely love that. Maximum speed. Dancing around all of it shop because it was that loose. Loved it. Yeah, up until that point I thought it was quite equal. This ride doing it clockwise, anti-clockwise. But finishing off on this, I think it's definitely pipped it. If I was to do this ride again, I would do it clockwise. So there you go, there's the verdict. But don't get me wrong, this ride both ways is very, very climby and pedally. Even John's mentioning it and he's on an e-bike. That's fun, wasn't it? Yeah, that's that. Right, van's just round this corner, so just about done. Yeah, quite enjoyed this ride. Um, highlights for me was the first section straight from the van when we started. That was fun, down through those woods. And Empsey Crag, again, brilliant. That single track descent off Sharp was also good and this last um, section along here back to the van also good so yeah good ride but like i say very challenging right thanks for watching everybody and i will see you on the next one